And this is 512-646-1776. doesn't just have to be on health. Call in about anything you want. Yeah. Just change it up. Give, give us something interesting. Um, I'm probably going to regret saying that. But, but health is an interesting. Health is, <laughs> health is very interesting. But give us whatever topic is on your mind. It's, it's a free-for-all call in right now. 512-646-1776. Justin in Portland, what's on your mind? Hello. Um, I'm actually calling, uh, you know, I've had, you know, I'm not a, like, a really unhealthy person, but I've, you know, I, I don't feel real healthy. And, um, you know, I've been to the, the doctor different times. I've had a lot of intestinal issues uh, going back and forth different times between, you know, between constipation and diarrhea. And um, I, um, you know, I after talking to them, you know, I was told, well, you probably just have IBS. And, you know, I... I kind of had an epiphany that, you know, that first of all, they're just realized, wait a minute, I, I don't even think they're really diagnosing illnesses. It's, you know, the doctors I've had just smell like they're diagnosing symptoms. <laughs> um, but my question really is with the, uh, you know, with a couple of the cleansing products, I've been, I started reading the um, Green Body Cleanse, and I right now I'm, uh, you know, I ordered some Oxy powder. It's still in the, coming in the mail right now. But um, I was wondering, I was wasn't sure with the, you know, that you have the deep uh, cleanse, which is, uh, you know, that's been called an all-in-one cleanser. But, you know, I wasn't sure really um, what does that one do compared to the Oxy powder. Um, I hope I went with the right one for now. I might end up ordering the other one too, but I just was wondering about that mostly. That's okay. a great question. I definitely want Dr. Group to answer that fully. I will also say that I'm pretty close friends with medical doctor and, you know, I've seen him before about numerous things. But I will tell you that IBS is a blanket condition that they kind of give you. It's almost like a prescription. Like, oh, your stomach hurts. Uh, you have horrible things going on in your intestines or your, you know, colon issues. Oh, it's IBS. You know, it, they'll kind of just blanket state that you have IBS. And I found a lot of the times it's not exactly IBS. And IBS could be caused from a different number of different things. But Dr. Group is the guru of intestinal health. I mean, he really is. He studied it for like 20 plus years. So. Right. And, and the reason why is because... During our research, we were looking at what the root cause of all disease is. When we realized the root cause of all disease was a combination of toxins coming into the body and into the bloodstream, which are causing imbalances and, and reducing the body's self-healing mechanism so the body can't actually handle it and fight the disease anymore, the next step was where how are all these chemicals and toxins that cause disease coming into the body in the first place? And so we looked at, are you going to breathe the toxins in? Well, you might breathe maybe 2 to 3% of the toxins uh, in, disease-causing toxins in, but that's why you have mucous membranes. So a lot of those toxins that you breathe in get caught in the mucous membranes and end up leaking down into the stomach and intestines anyway. Then we looked at the skin, which was the only other uh, component of the body where toxins can absorb. And, and obviously we get a lot of toxins through uh, women more than men through all the lotions and skincare products that they use and makeup and, and such. But really you're not getting a lot of toxins through the skin. So the next area was the intestines. And that's why we spent so much time focusing on the intestines because the intestines are the major point of toxic buildup that damage Number one, the probiotics, because they end up being acidic with the meat and the artificial sweeteners and the microwaved foods and everything else that are coming in. People in a, are in a chronic state of stress usually these days when they eat, which shuts down the digestive activity. So a good tip out there for anybody listening right now, which will greatly improve your digestion and any type of bowel conditions because 9 out of 10 people suffer from bowel conditions over the, at the age of 30, whether it's stomach pain, gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, the list goes on and on, acid reflux. One thing you can do is always eat when you're in a parasympathetic state. A sympathetic state is a fight or flight. And that means if you're eating at work, if you're eating while you're on the computer. And everyone does eating, this ever. This is essential to listen to. Right. If you're eating while driving in your car, if you're eating watching TV, I mean, if you're, you know, pretty much 99% of the time people eat, they're in a sympathetic state. Why do you explain that what means, that is, though? <clears throat> yeah. A sympathetic state is when your body is under stress or it's not relaxed enough so you can digest your food. It's the fight or flight response. It's if it's like an, I was talking earlier an about an attacker the dog. Yeah. comes up or you're in a state of fear, 
your body takes all of its resources in the adrenal glands, uh, re release adrenaline, and your body goes into a state of fighting. And when that happens, the blood goes to the vital organs like your heart and your muscles, and it goes, it gets pulled away from your intestines. And you can feel like And they've, and they've looked at people watching the news, negative negativity on the news, and it does put you in a parasympathetic an state. I mean, a sympathetic one. state. Yeah, an artificial state, because you're not right. actually under attack. No one's in your home to kill you. But if right. you think about it, our our brains have, have come to this way through creation or evolution or whatever. It has come to this precipice in which we perceive threats on a whole new level because it used to just be a man with a club was going to come in and kill us and take our women and children now it's an idea of a nuclear weapon could be fired from 5,000 miles away and hit our doorstep or you know a tax man's coming you know oh you owe bills or something like that we've never faced these issues before our brain has never faced these issues before it sees them just as someone coming with a club and I think the next level in, in, in human you know, evolve, evolving in human brains is going to be to differentiate these. But as of right now, we're in fight or flight all the time because we can't handle the attacks on our brain, the thought attacks from the mainstream media and all the craziness that we talked about before. So like you're saying, people are eating in this state and the body's saying, I'm not ready to eat. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight this. <laughs> That's right. And you know, the medical profession doesn't teach. You, you made a comment earlier about symptoms. That's the only thing that they teach is symptoms because that's why you prescribe medications for the symptoms. They're not going to tell you what the root cause is and tell you you have to eliminate GMOs. You have to reduce your alcohol intake. You need to clean your intestines. You need to repair the microbiome in your intestines with all the good probiotics and bacteria. You need to drink more water. These are all things that you can do. Some of the tips that I recommend, chew your food 25 times before you swallow it. Always do nine deep breaths before you start eating. You know, that will bring you into a parasympathetic state. And you'll be amazed at just what those two things will do to repair your intestines. The reason why I developed Oxy Powder is because I was looking at how can we address all the compaction and the years of damage to the bowel, the small intestine, which is 25 feet, and the large intestine, which is around 10 feet. So that's 35 feet of surface area. And as a matter of fact, if you were to cut the bowels and spread them open, you would have the surface area the size of a tennis court. Well, we put all these meals and all this stuff in our system every single day, but we do not give our intestines and the inside of our body a shower or clean it on a regular basis. Sure, we know how grungy we feel if we don't take a shower in two or three days. It's almost to the point where you just have to jump in some water and wash yourself down. Your skin starts itching, your hair will start itching and stuff. I mean, I've I've done, you know, survival training or been out in the, I've been surviving in the Mojave Desert for 40 days. And after about three or four days, you start getting that layer of dust on your skin and you start feeling, I mean, you can literally start feeling like almost bacteria and stuff crawling all over yourself. Well, can you imagine what goes on in the intestines for 30 or 40 years of you putting fast food and artificial foods and preservatives and BPA and, no and all types of chemicals and no one cleaning it out? No one cleans it out. And it's all just about making a conscious effort to do something. The, and the good news, though, is the body and the bowel heals itself extremely fast. So Most of the body does. You know, one yeah. time I was out, and I also want to thank you for your call, by the way. I want to get into one more call before we go into a special report by Leanne McAdoo, kind of a foreshadowing on Trump in a report about Trump being right and what he was right on specifically. Uh, because the nightly news tonight, again, is going to be some commentary on the Republican debates. So you can actually catch the Republican debates here live with us and watch it and have the commentary as well, breaking down what they're saying. So you don't have to watch it on the mainstream media and give them your advertising revenue. You can stick with us here. And then Alex Jones is going to be joining us later on the program as well. I want to go to that report in a minute here. But tying into what you were saying, you know, it really comes down to a number of different things. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of like uh, you were saying that the body heals so quickly. I remember being out one night and a piece of glass from a, someone had a glass and they put it down on the table really hard and the, the glass broke and it, it blew in the wind and sliced my eye open. And I was with my medical doctor friend, and he said, oh, you're fine. And I said, what are, you, what are you talking about? My eye is clearly sliced open. It was actually bleeding. And he said, just close your eye, man. And he put in this ointment, 
It's like an antibiotic ointment, right? And he says, just give it, give it like 24 hours to be completely healed. And I was, you're insane. I'm going to the hospital. I didn't end up doing it. I ended up listening to him. And I'm sitting there and I go to sleep and I wake up and my eye was completely healed. I mean, I didn't even notice any issue. It was bleeding at the time, scratched open, and it was healed. The eye heals. One of the quickest things to heal in the body is the eye. But overall, the body has such a powerful way of healing itself that even I was doubting it. Someone that knows about the ability to heal, I was doubting it, saying, no way. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm in a bad situation right now. My eye is bleeding. But the next day, it was completely fine. If we just take a conscious effort to do something now, you know, to, to help our body heal itself, we can really make some powerful change. Let me just put one thing in there. I know you want to get to that video, but oh, he did have a question on uh, the difference between oxy powder and deep cleanse. Yeah, and good, I just wanted idea. to finish that up. You know, your eye is also exposed to oxygen in the air and oxygen is a universal healing agent. And that's one of the reasons when we looked at what is going to be the best way to neutralize chemicals and toxins in the intestines, but also to bubble away all that compaction in there. Herbs don't do that, and as a matter of fact, most of the herbs like Santa Cascara, Sagrada, uh, you can use them every now and then, but if you use those uh, laxative or osmotic type herbs, or laxatives you get from the drugstore for that matter over a period of time, they permanently damage the bowel. So our goal was to develop something that would use something that's so natural that we breathe every single day, oxygen, which we know has the ability to neutralize toxins and turn that solid, crusty matter into a liquid or a gas. So how it works is the oxygen slowly releases in your intestines from the stomach all the way down through the large intestine, and it neutralizes and chews away or eats away all that compaction and the oxygen helps then heal the lining of the intestines. So it really repairs it. And it's something that you can do on a regular basis as well. Because you're going to need to keep your intestines clean on a regular basis. Maybe once or twice a week. Something like that. Because of all the exposure that the intestines get. The deep cleanse on the other hand was designed to go it through the small intestine or the stomach into the bloodstream. And the deep cleanse was designed to help clean and support the, the, the main detoxification organs, the, the, the uh, lymphatic system, the liver, and the kidneys. So they actually work in conjunction with each other. And, you know, you, you, there's, there's few cleanses that I would recommend everybody do. One's an intestinal cleanse, liver and gallbladder cleansing, parasite cleansing or harmful microbes, which is a, a, a show in itself with what we're being exposed to right now. And chemical and heavy metal cleansing. I mean, you really need to, to, to focus on different areas and cleanse right. all that stuff out of your system. It's a complete attack from all different fronts. Well, we're going to go to this video here in one second. I want to remind you also about what this is. It's the InfoWars Money Bomb Special. I'm proud to be a part of the guest hosting. I'm Anthony Gucciardi here with Dr. Edward Group filling in for Alex Jones, who will be joining us again later on the program. And coming up, the nightly news covering the Republican debates tonight with commentary and breaking it all down. Now... I it just ended, but I, you know what? I'm going to ask us to extend it about five minutes. If we can extend the X2 special, 30% off X2 for about five more minutes, you can still get it. Survival Shield X2 at InfoWarsLife.com. We're going to extend the special. We're going to pull it back up. 30% Survival Shield X2 to about 405 CST. We're going to expend it by five minutes. You can still go to InfoWarsLife.com and get this flagship Survival Shield X2 nascent iodine for 30% off to support the money bomb. Your purchase goes towards reaching 400 plus million people on television with the Alex Jones Show and the InfoWars Nightly News going worldwide on satellite. And by the way, just one more thing. We just got done talking about Oxy Powder. There is a 15% off, which is probably the deepest discount you're ever going to find on Oxy Powder at any time. Yeah. So while you're there, look at that and take advantage of that special yep, as well. Yep, there's discounts all across InfoWarsStore.com and InfoWarsLife.com. Now we're going to go to a report by Leanne McAdoo called Trump Was Right. Here it is. Actually, Anthony, we're going to play The Matrix Revisited. We played it earlier today to start the show, and Alex would like us to play it again. So we'll play that, and then we'll get into Leanne's Well, there you report. go. We're going to play that first, The Matrix Revisited. Here we go. 